Hi, my name is Irene, and I'm an educator here at the museum at the Institute for American Indian Studies. If you're like me, and you're a Native American who's been to college or plans on going to college, you've probably heard some of the following phrases. You're so lucky to be Native American because you get to go to college for free. Or, you get so many scholarship opportunities just because you're Native American. Or my personal favorite, you only got into that school because you said you were Native American. Well, today on Inside with IIIS, we are going to be discussing what it really takes for Native American college students to go to college for free. So, can Native American college students go to college for free? The answer to that is a definite, it depends. It depends on what school you're looking to go to, what tribe you are affiliated with, and if you can prove your tribal affiliation. Some schools, such as the University Systems of Maine in California and some tribally affiliated colleges, uh, offer full tuition waivers. Some schools, like the University of Massachusetts system, offer some assistance. Uh, Oregon State University offers in-state tuition rates to people out of state, but you have to prove that you are a member of a federally recognized tribe for most of them. If you are part of a state-recognized tribe, you might not be eligible for tuition waivers or assistance. And if you're not enrolled at all, then you're definitely out of luck. There are some scholarships available specifically to Native American students, either through the university you're looking for or independently. For example, the Yukon College of Agriculture, Health, and Natural Resources has a scholarship for three Native students every year who are interested in agriculture-related majors. There's also independent scholarships through the American Indian College Fund that go to full-time students enrolled in a federally recognized tribe with a GPA of 2.0 or higher. There's also the very prestigious Udall Scholarship, which you have to be nominated for by your university as a sophomore or junior, which gives you $7,000. So you don't have to just go after Native-specific scholarships. Schools like Princeton and UNC Chapel Hill have programs for low-income people of all backgrounds that will allow them to graduate from college student debt free. But in order to be eligible for these, you have to fill out your FAFSA and CSS profile. That will open up scholarship and financial aid opportunities to you no matter what school you go to. So why are these programs needed? It's to address the disparities in educational opportunities between Native Americans and the U.S. population as a whole. For example, 24% of Native Americans enroll in college versus 41% of the nation as a whole. And only 21% of households with children in it that are Native American have a parent who is a college graduate versus 52% of the nation as a whole. Meanwhile, most of the families of Native American college students cannot afford to give any contribution towards their college education. In regards to affirmative action, don't ever let anyone make you think that you don't belong at a school that has used affirmative action in regards to your application. That's just the school acknowledging that you have had to work harder as a Native American to get to the same place as your non-Native peers. So you belong there, all right? And as a final note, make sure to fill out your FAFSA and CSS profile. It is so important for getting the right financial aid. Thanks again for joining us for another edition of Inside with IIIS. If you have any questions about this or other subjects, feel free to contact us on our website or come visit us at the museum. And if you enjoyed this and want to see more content like it, feel free to give us a donation on our website as well. Thanks again, and we'll see you later.